Hello everybody, this Meg's production tutorial is on how to make a prank background and this is the revised version, the original if you watched it um, did not have any words to it so it's a bit harder to understand so what we do to make our prank background is the first things first we press um, print screen which that's up in your upper uh, right hand corner of your um, keyboard it's by the F1 through F12 keys it's just to the right of that and what that does is it copies all the pixels of your screen so we're going to go down here start paint and then we're going to go press on the uh, selection tool right click paste and here is the background so what we're going to do is file save as we're going to go to I'm going to save this on my desktop just because it's easier for me to show you but if I were you I'd just save the picture and your picture uh, in your pictures or something like that it doesn't really matter matter where you save it I'm just saving it here for convenience of me so background background save I'm going to close this and waiting here's the background right click and press um, set as desktop background. Okay, so it's now set as the desktop background, but you see I've still got these folders. And then here's the picture underneath. So this doesn't do anything, this does. But you see, I don't want them to be able to press on these two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to um, view which is on Windows XP it's going to be under sort by and it's going to be at the bottom of this list view show desktop uncheck that so now I cannot press anything I can't even hold down my mouse and drag the thing and now these are just do nothing it's like your computer's frozen up um, and what another thing you can do with this I have this uh, uh, my bar here on um, auto hide what you can do is if it, when you unlock this if you don't have it on auto hide it will also keep a picture of this and when it's unlocked you can move it the side, the top, whatever and what I do is lock it and keep it on uh, auto hide and then whoa I've got nothing I can't even go down here and press on my start menu there's absolutely nothing on here it's kinda crazy isn't it it'd be really bad so now that that's done to restore it you just do basically everything in reverse which I don't want to like that uh, lock. okay just do everything in reverse basically right click view show desktop icons so now you've got everything back but you still got those pictures underneath there so what you do is you just go back to your original background picture and set it as your desktop for me I go to personalize this is a vista so it's different I go to desktop background and then here's the picture that I just had. I'm going to press on this. I'm going to go Windows Wallpaper. And I'm going to go down here to Vistas for Views. And OK. Oops, I just messed something up. So I've got it on uh, single pair. I want it on Retch. Voila. There's my original background and I'm back and restored uh, th uh, hopefully this has cleared you up from the last one if you didn't understand it and also made it easier on you and also harder on the person who gets it uh, so have fun pranking people thanks for watching and thank you Meg